Welcome, my name is Sabrina and I am the Youth and Family Programs Director of Unity of Bellevue. <laughs> I'm so glad that you are here joining us this week. Since we can't meet in person at this time, we will have our program online. In April, we are learning all about choices and how the choices we make can affect our lives. The doors you will see throughout the lessons will represent choices. Some of these doors will lead to bad choices, while others will lead to good. When we put our trust in God, he will show us which door to go through. Now let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna light our candle, like we always do it when we're at Unity. There you go. Okay. I would like you to take a deep breath. And a second one. Great job, everyone. Now, I would like to invite you to hold something in your hands that is a thought of love. This can be a heart, like we have them at Unity in different colors, or a penny or anything else that could be a thought of love. If you don't have something, go grab something. I will wait for a small moment. Okay. Can you show me in the camera what you have? Let's see if I can see anybody showing me what you have. Reverend Mala has a piece of paper. Is it a piece of paper? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. A rock with that says faith. Great. Great job, everyone. Well, let's sing the magic penny song together. If you don't know the lyrics, no problem. Give me a moment and I will show them to you. There you go. <laughs> okay. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like a magic penny. Hold it tight and you won't have any. Blend it, spend it, and you have so many. You roll all over the floor. Love is something if you give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Love is something if you give it away. You end up having more. <laughs> Great job. Now, we say we have plenty to spare and plenty to share, and we are grateful. <laughs> now I would like to do an experiment with you. Okay, let me see. Just gotta put this to the side. and get my table in the center. <laughs> there you go. We did this before in our lessons, but it was so powerful that I'm happy to share it again with you. Now, this water-filled draw is full of pearlness, just like we when we are born. We are full of goodness and light. As we live our lives, we make some choices. Not all choices are good. One choice that is not helpful is saying hurtful stuff to others, like mean things. I will add a drop of food coloring for every word that we might say that was not nice. <laughs> 
Another choice that is not helpful is doing stuff that is hurtful to others. I will add a drop of red food coloring for everything that we might have done in the past. Now look at that. <laughs> have you ever done or said something to another person that was not nice? If so, give me a thumbs down. Yeah, almost all of us did that, right? <laughs> when we are not living life to our best, life can seem kind of dim and dull, just like the water in this draw. But God within us is all good and all powerful and can help us to make good choices and to make our life better. Now think of something that we could say or do that is good and shows our God self. Can you think of something? Good. Now I will add one moment. I will add a different liquid to it and we will see what happens. Excuse me, Sabrina. I'm sorry yes. to interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt, but are we supposed to have our video on? You can if you want to, but if you don't want to, that's okay. Whatever feels okay. better for you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now, see what happens with the draw. The goodness of God that we all have with us helps us to make our world the way we would like to have it. Over time, it will get lighter and brighter. So we will look at it at a later moment. But for now, I will put it to the side. And I will close it just in case. <laughs> okay. We will get back to that in a moment. Let me get my candle back. Okay. Okay. Now. Before we jump into our story today, I have a few riddles for you. What must be broken before you can use it? Think about it. What must be broken before you can use it? A egg. <laughs> Second one. What has a face and two arms but no legs? A face and two arms, but no legs. Hmm. A clock. <laughs> well, riddles are lots of fun. Every Wednesday at noon, you will find a new riddle of the week on our Unity Kids Facebook page. Yes, we have a Unity Kids Facebook page. I will show it to you in a minute. Let me know if you have a clue and post under it, but don't give the clue away since other people still want to try to find it out. Ask your parents for help. Now we are going to watch a story about a kid who has the opportunity to choose between the right choice and the wrong choice. Let's see what happens. Just a moment. There we go.
What a great story. <laughs> so I have to say, the music was missing. I'm the first time on Zoom myself, but I'm pretty sure you could see what the story was about, right? <laughs> well, this story helps us to understand more about the significance of our choices and how every choice we make has an impact on our parts of our lives. <laughs> now, I have some questions for you. And if you would like to, you can say something. So what did the boy save money for? Anybody, Anybody want, his want to say something? His bike. bike. Yes, that's right, for his bike. Now, what did he lose? Why did he lose his bike? Why did he lose his bike? Because he helped somebody. So, I don't know. Because he helped somebody, so never help people. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, it was stolen, right? <laughs> okay, third question. Did the boy pick the right choice and went through the right door? At first he didn't, but then he did. Yes, that's right. First he did not, but then he did. Well, as you could see in this video, the boy had a choice. He had an opportunity. He had two doors, he could make the right choice or the wrong, and he made the right choice. <laughs> now, let's look at our drawer, how it changed. Does anybody see a difference? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's getting brighter and brighter, right? That's how we should live life. Now, let me put it to side again. <laughs> Now remember, in everything you do, you get the chance to make the right choice. God within us is all good and all powerful. Now let's get to our craft. <laughs> this week, we will create a door hanger. You can print it and color it out in the way you want it. You can also glue stuff on it. I will show you mine in a minute. If you do not have a printer, that's not a problem. Just um, draw it. Let me share my screen so I can show you the door hanger. So this is how it looks and you will find it on mm -hmm. our Unity Kids Facebook page. Where is it? Um, <laughs> or you can do it like I did it. I didn't have a printer, so I just used a pencil and I Chase. <laughs> okay. Now this is how my door hanger looks. I put sticker on it and I colored it. On the back, I put stickers on it and I even put glitter on it. It was all over the table, glitter. but I don't care. <laughs> exactly. Glitter is glitter. It gets everywhere. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glitter. During each week, you will have the opportunity to win a prize. <laughs> to enter, take a picture of your craft, send it to me to my email, youtheducation at unityofbellevue.org. You will find all crafts in the gallery of our new Facebook Kids page. Please ask your parents for assistance. Parents can also find an encouragement on our Facebook page. What's the prize? Well, you will see. <laughs> I will tell you next week. Also, join me for story time every Wednesday at noon. We'll be doing read out louds, shout outs, and making up an original child book. These episodes are recorded and will be posted on our Unity Facebook page. Let me show you our Facebook page. Um, there we go. Maybe That's our new Facebook page. Can you see yourself somewhere? <laughs> also, you can find our video. Our volunteer promotion video 2020 that we did in February. <laughs> and all different kinds of information. Because with everything that happens, there is a new opportunity. <laughs> okay. 
And lastly, well, that's it for today. Next week is Eastern. Since we can't meet in person our, for our Easter egg hunt, I'm planning a virtual Easter egg hunt. It will be a special lesson with lots of fun. So stay tuned. Let's close with the prayer for protection. Everybody can say it with me. You can see it right here next to me. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever I am, God is and all no, is yes. now remember to print your craft and ask your parents for help thank you for joining today i see you next week to our easter egg hunt i will give back to mala for our q a bye awesome. yes. thank you cinder says goodbye yes. have a great week bye